Hello and welcome back to the CNS Pharmacology Masterclass where we talk about all the medications that work on the central nervous system. And here we will explain the Z drugs. So let's start with an overview. So the Z drugs are classified as hypnotic drugs that are used in treatment of insomnia and anxiety and these medications are referred to as Z drugs because most of them not all their names start with the Z letter and they also refer to as non benzodiazepines and the Z drugs are discovered in the 1990s and in comparison with the other hypnotics, the barbiturates were discovered in the early 1900s and the benzodiazepines were discovered in the 1960s and the Z drugs are discovered in the 1990s. Now let's move on to mention some examples of these medications. So there are a lot of them and those are the most commonly used ones. So we have the Zolpidem, the Zale Plan, and the s Zobi Clown. So all of these medications have a short duration of action. For example, the Zolpidem has a five hours duration of action. The Zale Plan has a three hours duration of action. And the s Zobi Clown has a six hours duration of action and this is a picture of the s Zobi clown now let's talk about the pharmacokinetics of the z drugs so all of them are available in oral formulas only and they all have good absorption and they are metabolized by oxidation via the cyp450 enzymes in the liver and they are affected by the medications that induce or inhibit the CYP enzymes and they are excreted renally. Regarding the mechanism of action, so the Z drugs work on the GABA A receptors in the central nervous system, same with the barbiturates and the benzodiazepines. And the GABA receptors are composed of five subunits and they are the chief inhibitory receptors in the central nervous system. So this is a picture of the GABA receptors and they are the chief inhibitory receptors in the CNS opposite to the excitatory receptors like the NAMDA receptors that the glutamate work at. The GABA receptors are normally activated by the GABA neurotransmitter, which is the gamma aminobutyric acid, which is abbreviated as GABA. And the GABA bind into one of the receptor subunits to activate it. And activation of the receptor by the GABA lead to the opening of the ion channel that allows chloride ions to pass through it, leading to reduction in the neuronal excitability and inhibition of the nerve transmission, leading to central nervous system inhibition. So when the GABA receptor is activated, the ion channel that is linked to this receptor, which is the chloride ion channel, would be opened, and this would allow the chloride to flow through it, leading to hyperpolarization and inhibition of the nerve transmission. And the Z drugs bind into the GABA I receptors to enhance its actions. And most of them would bind into the alpha subunit of the GABA receptors. And the Z drugs work by enhancing the GABA through increasing the frequency of the opening of the chloride channels in the GABA I receptors leading to more chloride flow through these receptors and this lead to hyperpolarization 
and inhibition of the nerve transmission and that lead to central nervous system depression which ultimately lead to the hypnotic effects. Now let's talk about the pharmacologic effects of the Z drugs. So they work as an anxiolytic and hypnotic and they also lead to anterior grade amnesia means that the patient may not be able to remember the events that happen during the drug's action. And they don't work as anticonvulsant and they have no muscle relaxation effects unlike the benzodiazepines and the barbiturates. Now let's talk about the therapeutic uses of the Z drugs. So they are mainly used in treatment of insomnia and they have a quick action so their onset of action is a quick and they have short half-life so they have short duration of action in comparison with the benzodiazepines and that is why they are preferred over the benzodiazepines in treatment of insomnia now let's move on to talk about the adverse effects of the Z drugs so Z drugs are not safer than the benzodiazepines. They almost carry the same risks, but in a mild way. So they lead to tolerance. Tolerance means that with repetitive use of the Z drugs, there is physiological adaptation and receptor upregulation that lead to, to diminishing effect of these medications with repetitive dosing that make the patient have to increase the dose in order to achieve the same effects. But developing tolerance in the Z drugs is slower in comparison with the benzodiazepines and the barbiturates. And they also lead to physical dependence. Physical dependence means that with repetitive use of the Z drugs, the body physiologically adapts that when you stop the drug abruptly, this would lead to withdrawal effects like insomnia and anxiety and physical dependence develops if they are used continuously for more than four weeks and that is why they shouldn't be withdrawn abruptly due to the possibility of the withdrawal effects they have to be gradually withdrawn they also produce some amnesia during the drugs action and the Z drugs may produce withdrawal anxiety the next day and they rarely may lead to hallucinations or dissociation disorders and with these medications there is increased risk of depression increased risk of falls and fractures finally let's talk about toxicity with these medications so toxicity is rare the patient become unconscious with shallow breathing when they administer a toxic dose. Regarding the management, the management of the airway might be needed and the flumazenil is the antidote to the Z drugs. It is also the antidote to the benzodiazepines. And with that, we reach the end of this video. Thank you guys for watching. So this video is a part of a larger class. It's called the Central Nervous System Pharmacology masterclass that will appear right now and i have more pharmacology content that you can check out by clicking on my channel